Okay, on a previous episode, you saw me wailing on this inner race with a punch. And I messed up somehow, so. See all these raised spots? I was driving it from the opposite side, which drove the metal inward. And that's where the race needs to seat. So if I don't fix that, it's not going to seat all the way. So my plan is to take this little Dremel tool and just go around there and just clean all that up, make it flat again. Okay, I don't know that I'm going to record this whole thing, but this will at least give you an idea of what I'm doing. Let's turn this on. I would recommend safety glasses. So this little grinding wheel blew apart and I did feel a piece of it hit my face, so. I think a plan B or C, whatever you wanna call it, I'm gonna take the punch, same punch. I did make sure the end of it was nice and flat. I'm gonna knock these down. And then I'll go back. So this, in theory, will reduce the amount of grinding I have to do. So this video is not meant to be a how-to, it's a really a how-not-to. But if you do the same thing and screw up, then maybe this will give you an idea of how to fix it. So I'm gonna keep working on this and then I'll be back. Thirty minutes later. Okay, so we have the high spots ground down. Basically what I did was any spot that caught my fingernail, I just ground it flat. Nothing catches my fingernail and I'm confident that the race will fully seat. So try not to make this mistake when you do yours. If you do, this is how I fix mine, and I don't think it's gonna be a problem. In fact, I'm pretty confident that it's not gonna be a problem. There's plenty of area there for the race to seat, and nothing is gonna push it one direction or another. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.